God bless you, global Christian friend. This is Bishop Young again. And we take these moments that we have here, we take them quite seriously. And we hope that there is someone out there listening that will take the time to hear what is being said in your Bible. Notice I said that. What is being said out of your Bible. Because what is written in my Bible ought to be written in your Bible. And uh, I can't say anything differently than what is written here in my word. And if you have the King James, then yours ought to read the same according to the different publishing houses around the world. They ought to come together, unite, agree, and to publish the same print. And we trust that such is the case, particularly when it comes to the Bible. Now that we have the Bible, once upon a time, the world did not have the Bible. It was not given to the public. But now that it has, and take advantage of it, and listen, and read, and understand, and accept, and be saved, and be delivered, and hear what God is saying, the only true and living God. Oh, my God, I tell you, that sounds like a call to me. In that 20th verse, the beast was taken at 2019 Revelation, the beast was taken with him, uh, the false prophet. Think about that statement. Perform miracles before the beast. Think about that. Performing miracles before the beast. And he performed the miracles to deceive the people. And the people was deceived. The bad part about it is the kings of the earth was deceived by this beast and false prophet. Now, if the kings are deceived, naturally, their subjects are deceived. And they are deceived by the false prophet prophet performing the miracle before the beast. And uh, just look at what it says. They were taken ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 my God. Uh, uh, and you just got to see this thing uh, the way that it is. Read it in 1920. And the beast was taken, and with him, the false prophet that performed miracles before him. Now, that is explanatory. It can't get more clearer than that. False prophet, beast, deceived kings. That is not a good uh, uh, revelation when it comes to world conditions. Uh, it says, uh, those that receive the mark of the beast and them that worship his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Now you may say, well now Bishop, is that the way that God actually operates? Does he really do these kinds of things? I don't mean no harm, uh, uh, global Christian friends, but there is a heaven 
perhaps you've never heard of it, like there is a hell. And Jesus said, don't fear men that after they have killed you, there is nothing more that they can do. He said, but I will warn you who to fear. You fear him who has the power to kill the soul and to cast both hell and death into this lake of fire burning with brimstone. Brimstone is sulfur. That is what it basically is known around uh, the world. Uh, and uh, it says the remnant that's in 19 and 21 the remnants were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceed out of his mouth. And we said that if he turns to the east and west, the edge of his sword is in the north and south. And if he turns to the north and south, the edge of his sword is in the east and in the west. And to be slain with the sword that proceed out of his mouth, you're not going to begin to try to understand uh, this statement unless you began to understand uh, about the individuals that had fire coming out of their mouth. Think about that statement. They had fire coming out of their mouth, and there were beings that sat upon them uh, that had breastplates of fire. Now think about that statement. Being with fire coming out of their mouth, and those that sat on them had breastplates of fire. And let's not forget the two prophets that caused fire to come down out of heaven to destroy those uh, that would be destroyed. And here we see uh, Christ sitting on the white horse, and he is going to destroy those uh, with the sword that proceeded out of his mouth. And 21, all the fowls were filled with their flesh. All the fowls were filled with their flesh. I can tell you, quite frankly speaking, there had to be a great stench going up from the earth. God bless you, global Christian friends. Till the next time, this is Bishop Young. God bless you.